Hey guys, I want to show you in this how you can take your images and turn them into videos completely free. So I came across this tool and I feel like no one is really talking about this. I feel like it's underutilized. Um, but what I'm using is Grok. It's uh, just grok.com. I'll put the link in the description. Um, but this, you basically can take an image upload it and it will auto turn it into a video based on what it interprets or you can do a prompt to video um so i'm going to show you what i did now just so you know if you use this tool and you hit right here you hit attach um when you do this you can upload a file if you don't change your settings it will auto produce the video with no prompt or no anything. So I did that a couple of times. So like these are just examples that are on um, the site when you come to grok.com. You want to go to this imagine um, uh, tab right here. Um, and then here's the, here's some of the ones I've done that I've just kind of played with. <laughs> these are just like where I literally uploaded a video. But this one I did um, an image. So actually I I think I can go to this. Let me go to this. So I basically uploaded the image and then I said using the uploaded image and then I prompt it so that it would bend over and kiss it on the nose. What is cool about this video is it does sound too. I don't know if you can actually hear but it, it sounds like I'm laughing and then I'm bending over and kissing him on the nose. It's so funny. Um, but this one was where I did image to an image and I also gave it a prompt and then it produced what I prompted to produce. Now here's what you want to do is if you you just have to sign in with Google so you go to grok.com create an account with Google is completely free come down here to this left corner right here and what you want to do is you want to say um, under settings you want to click settings you want to come to behavior and then this is going to be auto enabled. This is going to show enabled right here. You want to actually disable this because um, what will, what it will do is as soon as you start uploading your file, as soon as it's done uploading, it will auto create a video. And a lot of times, unless you want to auto create videos, but I like to either prompt it and tell it what I want it to do um, or, you know, like work with a prompt first. So disable that if you don't want auto video generation um so i'm going to show you a couple of mine oh wait i want to go right here so that one was like an image i gave it a prompt it created the video for me they create six second videos so i'll show you so like this one i didn't prompt anything i just i described it yeah i described it and i it just created let's see Hello, it's wonderful to see you today. And it gave like a different accent. I don't even know if that will come through on the video. Um, that was just a random prompt. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Let me go right here. So like these ones were all prompts. So I actually gave this prompt to video. So I did like a hyper-realistic. Uh, and then I described an Apple store. And I went through here and described it. And then I simply told it to create video, and it came up with this. Um, I'm going to do a couple live examples, too. So I did that for a 7-Eleven because I like energy drinks, so I was like, put some energy drinks in there. And then I did a Chick-fil-A. That's my favorite fast food or whatever. And then I was playing with some Oreo. Um, these ones, I can't remember if I did. I did, I did some really cool. So this one, this one's really cool. Um... So this is basically a prompt to video, and then I wanted to do it with my dog. So I came in here and I put Packer. It didn't turn out as good, but it's still pretty good. Like, I kind of like it. He isn't moving necessarily in this one, but then here I did a couple. So here's one of them. And this one I really like where he's walking towards the camera. I think that just looks cool. And then I redid it with something... And then it just kind of turned him into a glowing dog, which I thought both of those were pretty cool. Um, let's see, this is image to prompt. I did this one. I think I posted this in our in the Facebook group I have. 
Um, <laughs> that one as a Packer fan. Now this one, I literally just prompt it. It does distort my look, but it's hilarious. I just literally the prompt was bring this to life. And it took every image and it started bringing them all to life based on what it interpreted from the image. Um, so that's, that's kind of cool. Um, these, these are cool. You can actually pick stylized type, um, pictures. So I'm going to actually do a sample of like a prompt to image just, or prompt to video to, to just show you guys. All right. I just went and grabbed a prompt. So I'm going to type, I'm going to paste this prompt right here. I have no idea what this is going to turn out. I haven't tested this prompt. Um, but it's a hyper-realistic 4K cinematic video of a bright, cheerful woman standing on a surreal strawberry. Now, I'm not going to give it a reference image. I'm not going to make it in my likeness. I'm just giving it a very general prompt, and we'll see what it produces. Um, so let's see if it will. So it'll just take a couple of seconds, and uh, we'll see what it does. Okay, so that took probably about 60 seconds. This is the output. Let's see, I'll, I'll let it re... So it's somebody coming down the stairs in a strawberry dress. It's kind of cool. Here's what happens when you do prompt to video. It gives you all of these different styles that you can choose from. So, yes, it created this video, but it also gives you all of these. You can actually come in here... And if you like some sort of style better, you can actually choose it and recreate a video based on the different styles it um, creates for you. So this is kind of this is kind of nuts. It's kind of cool looking. So like you just you can come through here and then you can actually you can tell it to redo if you don't like this one, or if you like a different type of style. So like let's pick. I don't know, something completely different. Um let's let's do let's do let's do this one. So basically you can uh here, there we go. You can and you, you can basically take this image now and you can say make a video from this and then it will go through and do the same process. Okay, so this one made a little bit different. So like let's see, there we go. <laughs> so this one they're going up the stairs and I don't know if you can hear that but it actually uh, it has sound to it. it sounds like a waterfall of some sort and then that's that's actually pretty funny so like that it gives you all these ideas that you could start creating videos from um, and so like now let me see I can get an image I'll do an image to video instead of prompt Okay, so I uploaded this. I just want, I'm not going to actually prompt this one. I'm just going to give it the image and I'm going to see what the AI thinks this image is about to do. So I'm very interested to see if it will take it and make me eat the burger. I have no idea. So I'm going to go ahead and hit make video. Um, this is from a Google Gemini um, image that I had created based on a prompt. So I created this image, which is on my Instagram and my Facebook. You can see that, but I created the image with Google Gemini. And then I took that Google Gemini image and I just hit the upload and then I'm not giving it a prompt. I kind of I kind of want to see what Grok do, does on its own. Oh, that's exactly what it did. Boom. That's pretty good. That is not bad. That's actually pretty good. And it has sound too. I don't think you can hear that, but that is insane. And you can hear the crunching of the actual um, bite into the hamburger. That's pretty good. I think that's cool. So basically, I didn't even have to prompt it. The AI interprets what the image will be. So you can really play with a lot of different images. Now, you can also, like what I did with um, this one, I actually, like I said, I uploaded this as the, an, an image. And then I actually prompt it. I said, using the uploaded image as a first frame, create a smooth, short video. <laughs> Keep the woman's face and appearance, you know, I said the same. And then I just said, you know, make it so it kisses it on its nose. 
um, and I, you know, don't reposition the person. Like, I just kind of told it those things so that it wouldn't, you know, affect... Let me turn this off. Um, but I asked it to have the tail wagging in the background. Like, that's why, like, he's wagging the tail in the background, which I really liked. Um, and I think they did a great job interpreting what I was telling it. So basically with this, you can, I haven't hit any limits yet and I've been playing a lot with this. So I create images it, over here in Google. So this is the one I created today from, I just, basically this is the reference photo I put in most of these prompts. This is the reference I give is just this. And then I tell the prompt what to do and it recreates this for me. Um, and so I'm doing, I'm practicing different prompts, different things like that. So if I need help with prompts, I'm actually using chat GPT to help me prompt correctly with Google Gemini, which is when you hit this little image button, it's nano banana. Um, and you can upload a reference photo, give it a prompt, come up with the image and then take the image and turn that into video. So I have no idea. Uh, we, we could actually see what this one does. Um, and then I'll wrap up the video. So I just uploaded this one. I'm going to hit make video. I'm not going to prompt this one either because I don't even know what I'm really doing. Maybe it'll, I have no idea what it will do. Um, this will be interesting to me. Basically I just uploaded this. Um, and like I said, you want to make sure in your settings that you turn off auto create a video. Um, you want to make sure that that's off so that when you upload something it doesn't go create the video without you either prompting it. Okay, so it just kind of puts a motion to it. Oh, that's cool. And then look, you can see the reflection in the thing. You can see like a person. That's actually kind of cool. And it just puts music to it. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Um, now these are all six second videos, so like there was a couple where I did reels where I st strung three together, so like all these Oreo ones, all I did was I went and connected them all, this one, this one, and this one, and I put them all together, and then I put them into a reel. So that's how I've got a little bit longer form video. I'm going to do a couple of these, I'm going to see what I can do, if I can like just take the character throughout videos and keep building upon it for a longer storyline. Um, so I don't know, we'll see. I'll have uh, more tutorials on that, but I just want to introduce this because it's completely free. I haven't hit any type of limits yet. Um, and so just play with it. Just uh, see what you can do. Um, if you like this video and you want to see more videos of this, like it, subscribe, make a comment below. I'd appreciate the support. And you can follow me on my Facebook page, Instagram, um, and I will be putting all the prompts and stuff in there. Alright, see you guys on the next video.